Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurred. Don't give up now. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. Go away. He asks how you are today. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. He understands Wang Fu is hard. That's why your Muma only has six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honored. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? 
He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. Oh. But you need practice, lots of practice. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. Oh. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. Can't see. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know, practice makes perfect. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. Here's another familiar face with locks on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. Sometimes he's an expert, but sometimes he just does what's right. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. He says only a few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He appreciates those able to deliver a sharp remark. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. You're not in this world to live up to his expectations, but he hopes you're never going to have to use that weapon of yours. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. 
Kodo Toko. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Hola, Kodo. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before. That's all she's ever asked of you, that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. She suggests that you forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them more. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best? Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He heard you helped Gizmo clean up. He's proud of you. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He wishes that was true for your Mooma too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He's gathered so much over the years and it's hard to remember everything. Nothing's wrong with his memory. It's just short. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. 
is cool. Thinks some are and some aren't. One thinks for sure, though, your Mooma thinks it all takes up too much space in the house. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. He knows she's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He's sure your Mooma will forgive you for not wearing the traditional outfit. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Mooma says it's about time you got here. Berry? Says being on time would be better yet. Berry? She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Figuring that out is half the fun. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. 
Calino says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. <sighs> Nothing could stop Mukamukin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time... There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. Must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now.
If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on.